My name is Rod McReel, and uh, I play on the worship team here at Southridge. And when I first came, when I first started coming to Southridge, I, uh, I really was not interested in hearing the Word of God. I'd given up on God and really understanding anything about Him or His purpose in my life way long ago. And anyway, I used to watch the, the band up on stage and I would be just impressed with the songs. I started to just imagine, oh, I could really bring a lot to that. But I still, uh, still really did not feel like God had a place in my life. I felt like this, this team appealed to my, my ego and my sense of uh, playing music and playing piano. And I was playing for myself up here. I had my, my ego was in charge and I was happy to be contributing whatever I could and what I felt I offered. And I had a job that also mirrored my ego and that uh, my job had a, had a dysfunctional background to it and a, um, just a culture of deception and lying and I was a big part of that and I, was, I lived in it and I was, I was right along with everybody there. And then amazingly, I got fired and uh, it freed up my weekends to go on a March Men weekend, which someone uh, here invited me to. It's such an impactful experience for me, I, I still can't, um, it's still hard to describe. You know, at one point I identified that I was angry and then I had a lot of anger. And uh, my dad who had died, I have felt anger toward him and um, I just remember someone had stopped me there in an exercise and said, you know, have you ever forgiven your dad, you know, for, for feeling angry with him? And I, I still remember that, I can still feel that. And um, they asked me to close my eyes and when I opened my eyes, there was someone standing in front of me and it was my dad. I mean, they had found someone who looked just like my dad. And, um, you know, I, I got to forgive him and I got to say everything I ever wanted to say to him and say that I loved him. And it was really in that, uh, in that moment that I felt God came down and offered me a choice to, uh, to die, you know, to what, it would be, what would it be like if you died to yourself and you let go of yourself and what would that be like? And uh, I remember being really scared of doing that until that moment in that weekend when my dad really showed up there to talk to me and um, say that he loved me. I just looked up and understood what that meant to die to yourself and what that means to let go of yourself and what freedom that gives you to live. And I just came out of the weekend completely changed and uh, changed every aspect of my life. After that, I, I felt like I was able to, uh, to live for, for God and that enabled me to live for myself and for my kids, for my family. I, I came back to the worship team with just a renewed sense of passion to play as part of the team and to be whatever piece that I could play and be used by God. And um, that is the, uh, the message and the gift I've been given. And so I just feel so grateful to that ministry and to Southridge and to the worship team. Um, a, chance, a chance to play piano and sing and pray to God, really to sing love songs you know, to Him about, uh, about how great He is.